Hi guys, so today I want to talk to you about the Super Rod Mega Set, which is probably by far one of my favourite tools. I use it nearly every day, and it's just an amazing way to fish cables that saves you so much time and effort. So today what I've got here is uh, two ceiling light positions. They're switched separately at the moment, but I need to get a cable in between them so that they come on with the same switch, because around them I'm going to put some recessed down lights, so you can see the little blue marks on the ceiling there, and essentially I need to use the second switch uh, for those. So what I need to do is fish a cable between these two points. And what I've got here is the super rod um, with this little device on the end now I have no idea what to call this but basically it's a little sort of metal chain link type thing um, it's mag it, it, it will magnetize so what I'll do is I'm going to run this in up there um, push it along because the joists go this way and essentially I'm going to try and catch it at that point there um, with a magnet. So I'll show you how it works and it's super easy. So you just push it in like that. Um, it's about two meters, so two rod lengths, so I'm going to go in about that much. And then, at the other end, I've got this magnet which screws into a rod. So I'm just going to screw this magnet in here, and then up in the hole. a little fish around and I should be able to pick up can't quite find it so I probably need a little bit more length on this and usually you can just feel it click and there it is easy as that So I'm going to add another rod onto the end here. This has attached on there. And then this end, all I need to do is pull on that. There you go. Got the other end. And then I unscrew this. And I put a cable fishing sleeve on there instead. Grab my cable. So that cable now is attached to the sleeve. And I'm just gonna push that back up into the ceiling. And there it is. Got my new cable. Easy as that. So let me show you what's in the kit. So we've got this tube here, which is the tube that it comes in. It's a nice solid tube that's easy to keep everything together in and just keep the kit all nice and neat. And then the tube just has like this cap on it. Uh, and then inside at the top of the tube, you've got this little case, which has all your accessories in. So as I've shown you already, you've got this, 
which is an amazing little bit. This is the bit that I use the most out of, out of the kit. Um, I would say, you know, probably nine times out of 10, I just use this basically. So that's really handy. Um, you've got a solid metal hook here, which is quite useful as well for, you know, hooking and fishing things that you've, you need to catch. Um, you've got this light, which is really handy to sort of figure out if you're in the right place, if you're struggling to catch the end of the rod. So what you do is you just screw that on to the end of one of the rods and then it lights up when it makes contact. So it's just a nice little LED light that can shine up the space and you can see what's going on inside. Um, you've got this one, which um, it's got like a loop, basically like a key ring loop. So you could you know, tie some cables around onto it or, um, you know, I'm sure there's a function for that. I don't really use it very much, but I'm sure that's quite useful for some people. You've got a couple of little blanking ends, one flat and one rounded, um, which are quite handy, especially this one if you need to get into a tight space with the rods. Then you've got a little nylon hook here, which is um, smaller, so it's easier for tight situations. And then a couple of little loop ends that you can use to, for example, strip the ends of the cable, bend them over through there and use that to just pull the cable in. And the rods themselves, oh yeah, let's not forget this actually. First, this is the most important really. Um, you've got this cable pulling sleeve, which I've shown you in the video already. Basically, put the cable in like that, and the harder you pull, the stronger it actually grips on to the cable. So, and then to pull it off, you just pull the end like that. Dead easy. And it comes with two of these, so the small one, and a larger one for slightly larger cables. This one's perfect for lighting cables or small flex cables. And then the other one, the larger one, you can pull, for example, two 2.5 twin and earths in with it. So it's quite handy for that. The rods themselves, you've got different sizes um, or basically different thicknesses and strengths. So the yellow is the, the most thin and flexible. Then you've got slightly thicker red ones, which are a bit stronger and stiffer. And then the black ones, which are really strong and stiff. And then you also got these two. This one is normal sort of thickness, but it's glow in the dark. So it's quite handy for certain situations. And this one is nylon, so it's really flexible. And this comes in really handy in a lot of different situations. Actually, I use this one very often. Uh, most of the ends have just got normal male and female connectors on them but a couple of them do have this sort of swivel connector, which is quite handy for situations where you can't actually turn the rod to screw it onto the accessory. Uh, you can just screw the swivel, turn the swivel, and it screws onto the accessory that you want to attach. So, great little bit of kit. I must say, I use this every week. Um, most days, especially for you know any kind of domestic work, anything that involves pulling cables, this comes in really, really handy. So while I'm doing a bit of drilling, I thought I'd talk to you about the DADE or DADE, which stands for Dust and Debris Extractor and it is this plastic thing here. Basically, it's like a rubber sleeve that goes over your hole cutter, and its simple but important function is to catch all the dust that comes down. So, I simply drill the hole, and then it catches the dust. So what I've done in here is where I've had to drill the holes to fish the cables, I've actually drilled a large hole, like a 100 mil hole, in the middle of the little swishy, swirly circle from the Artex. Cut the core out, drill through the joists, and then you can fill them back in 
and it almost looks like you were never there. So I don't know if you can see the ones that I've actually filled in already, but this one, that was a hole. This one, there was a small bit of damage there. And this one, there was a hole. There was a hole there. And there was also a hole there. And if you look at it from a distance, with a bit of paint, it'll be like I was never here. So that's a great little tip. If you're doing Artex, drill your core in the centre of the circle and then just pop it back in afterwards. All you have to do, if there's wood behind it already, you can literally just pop a couple of screws into the plug that you've taken out, screw it back up and then fill it in. Or if there's no wood behind it, you just get a piece of wood, put it, put it inside the hole, screw either side of the hole and then fix your plug into the middle again and fill it in. Dead easy and it's a way of hiding any damage you need to fish cables for recessed lights. So, as I said, this is an amazing tool. I use it all the time. It can get you out of so many tricky situations where you could spend hours fishing around with a, an old piece of coat hanger or piece of trunking lid or whatever you use. Uh, just these little magnets and little devices that go on the end are absolute lifesavers. So uh, if you want, I'll put a link in the description of this video so that you can see how much they are and get one yourself. I've actually got two sets now. I uh, bought one set and then like a year and a half later I bought another set because I just use them so much um, that they're worth having all the accessories like even twice just in case one breaks or something um, and yeah hope you like this video if you do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more great videos coming soon